Uh, now you guys have described the show as David Attenborough flipped on its head, like a nature documentary from the perspective of the animals. What, uh, what type of childhood trauma incited you guys to do a story like this? Um, well, I think we're always just looking when we're starting a show, what is the kind of, um, I guess, the obsession we have that we want to use for that particular show. We had this idea of two men in bear suits kind of sitting in a forest uh, on like camping stools with a backpack with a bit of blood and stuff on it and they're sitting there drinking these campers beers and smoking their <laughs> cigarettes and talking about the audience just kind of looking out at the audience and talking about oh, them yeah. and that image stuck in our head and so there was enough in that to kind of ignite our imagination. What do you think it says about the nature of human beings? What are you trying to say? We're bringing up questions bringing up about questions. the nature of human beings. Mm. We're not giving an answer, really. Mm. I, and and I, ideally, it would be amazing if people go away from the show and have that question in themselves, what mm. it means about human beings. Mm. He submits himself to the force of the others as he realises that the pack has turned against him. I love nature documentaries. I'm totally mm, into it. I love it. nature documentaries too. And it's, and it's always that fine line. If you flip a nature documentary on its head, you know, where do you draw the line? Because in nature documentaries, they'll get like a mating call, you know, a bird whistle, or they'll get the scent of the female and they'll spray it on to attract the males or something. And, you know, and if you're doing this, if you just flip that around and you're getting an animal to do that with humans, it starts getting mm. a bit funny at some <laughs> point <laughs> and yeah, it's gets, nice to play that yeah. line